Hey there everybody, Game Blaster here, and today we're doing episode 4 of Mario and Luigi's Partner in Time. Last time, we got two green shells. Last time we have found baby Mario and Luigi, and today we're, we're going to be escaping Bowser's castle. Or baby Bowser's castle. You see there we found a switch. Now we can go ahead and farther to the room. Click on the switch thing. And then go here. You click the button here. And we activate the bridge. Mario, Luigi! If I may, there appears to be an unfamiliar block up there. Are you aware of how to hit and activate that block? Yes, I know how it works. You really know how? Of course. So I don't have to show you? Yup. Back to adventure. Alright, so we activate. Here we got a one-up mushroom. And we have to buy some Goombas. In some areas, you can bat uh, battle just with Mar baby Mario and Luigi. By clicking the X and Y button when they're separated by Mario and Luigi. And here's another Goomba. Alright, so we can't get up here. So what we need to do is activate these switches. And then we'll make a gateway so we can get up there now. Now we have to do the same thing. And it'll activate that so we can get through. Alright, now we need to get out of this tunnel. And oh, almost fell there. And activate this switch. Lift it up there, but I made it. Now we would need to climb down very carefully. And then reunite with Mario and Luigi. Okay, finally finished that battle. That was really long. And now, uh, yeah, we could battle him. Left eye, which means Luigi. Alright, there's something with mm, Bob, like, boom, go, boom Guy, is that when he loses his cannon, he could call for help and then get another cannon. Oh, missed. All right, Red Eye, Luigi, Mario, not Luigi. All right, beated Boom Guy, and now defeat Boom. There we go. Oh, and Mario gets a level up. And let's see. I'd say his defense is pretty low. A four, yes, and it's pretty good. Good thing I chose it. Now Luigi. Hmm, I'd say speed is not looking good, power, HP, yeah, I got a 1. Oh well. And now we look over here, we get 20 coins. Now we just need to carefully get up here. And attack this guy. Alright, be those guys. Alright, and now we're heading to the next room. Just need to get on this four person button. And then here we are. Alright, 20 coins there. And here we have a gate where we can't get through. What we have to do is 
throw Mario, baby Mario and Luigi. And then there's this dark tunnel. What do you have to do? What you have to do is put Mario and Luigi there. Click this button. And then go through the tunnel with some sunshine. That, mm, that's star sunshine thing represents the Mar and Super Mario Sunshine game and the GameCube and I think that's really cool on how they did that especially the part since it no, I failed and that's what happens when you fail you start all over doing this all over and over and over and over and over again I remember I keep failing this all over when I was young because I'm really impatient. But now I'm really patient, I guess you could say. Alright, Mario. Need to go through here. Luigi. Risking it. Not risking it. And we finally made it. Alright, now you put Mario and Luigi to the gates. And then here we have a mysterious triangle object. What do you suppose that is? It appears trashable, but it may also be something of incalculable value. I think it it best that we take it with us and investigate further. You got a sparkling shard. And that makes the gate open in the door. You know, here we are heading to the room where the pipe is. Can the save all of them? No thanks. Alright, we just need to go up those stairs, but only an X button. I'll talk about those later when you were able to obtain those. Now we go up here. And here we are at in Baby Bowser's playroom. Alright, are you jolly good? Mario, Luigi, at the new time hole. Back to adventure. Pardon me, you say we should leap into that ridiculous hole? Absolute rubbish. Do you honestly believe that I would place the princess in such reckless endangerment? Come on, it's the time to go back to our own er era. This blathering nincompooter is just arresting our progress. You wise scrounge and scoundrel. How dare you refer me as such and it's nincompoop. Dun dun dun. Halt! I say, what cheek you? I dare say, are you the true nincompoops? Come back here this instant. And we head back to our own time. <laughs> Here we are in an area where we couldn't have gone to before. Here's ten coins and one mushroom. And just like that, here we are, back in our own time. Let's hostilify over and see the good professor. If you're unsure where to find him, take a look at the top screen if you follow me. Well, I'm just gonna explore, and there's nothing here. Well, it looks like we're finally back. Alright, now we just need to go see Professor. 
Zoom. Hey look, it's a huge mushroom toad frog thing. You know, back at last. Stuff will inform me that you were bringing little fellers back with you to this time. And just look at this. Now, they're in re red and green. I am plum astounded. But then again, what else would be the little fellers be wearing, huh? Still, it sure tickles me to see little bros teamed up with the regular big bros. Professor, I must inform you of the mushroom kingdom of the past and the gargantuan trouble. Hmm, so it's true. They sh they, these shrewd creatures have made off with the princess, eh? You've got to do something. It's the princess, man. Hmm. Oh, I should have mentioned, Professor. We covered this at Bowser's Castle in the past. Shiny. I feel sh shame that I cannot identify it. I have no similar record records in my database. Yowzers! That's a cobalt star shard. The time machine's fuel, fuel source. Well, why was it in Bowser's castle and how did it get broken? Good gravy! The frog... Frog... Thing... Like shiny stuff. The cobalt star shard is driving that monster crazy. Yeah. Hmm. Could it be? Yep, it could. I do believe there's a link between the cobalt star and the shoes. More jars. Maybe we can figure out how to defeat these alien jerks if we find more cobalt star shards. Possibly. Mario, right, you gotta do it. Find the other shards and rescue Princess Peach. As you can see, the shard makes another time hole. It has that much power to do that. That shaking was no natural. I'd ra ra wager a new time hole just opened here in the castle. That Colbert Star shard is reacting to the other shards that are scattered in the past. Mario and Luigi, you youngsters, go get going and find those other Colbert Star shards. Oh, and by the way, if you care to check on the Colbert Star shards you've collected, just open up Stuffwell there and check his screens. Yes, we are able to see this door. This screen should show you how many shards you've collected so far. There's a fair chance this new time hole will lead you to more shards. <coughs> Why don't you jump on in and head back to the Mushroom Kingdom of the past? Oh wait, but before you go, I've got presents for you. They're badges, yep. Items that can power your fellers up. Yes, that's right. In this game, you get to equip items to you. You can equip badges and clothing. Here we have a salvage bag. It says, get a very slight chance of collecting items used in battle after battle. The thing is, I never used badges when I was little, when playing this game. I never knew how important the badges were, so I never used them at all when I was little. And I regret that. Now I'm going to go and continue my research of this alien predator. The rest is up to you, boys. You mean the frog? Okay. Oh, and by the bye. The shoom shop on the castle's east side just opened for business. Yes, that is right. We are now able to buy stuff. Yay. Let's go check what they have until we end this video. Of course, they sell items here. And they also sell bros attacks. Here you can buy them. And that up there is stash. Where you can get stuff with lower prices. I'm going to buy these cannons and some fire flowers because they're useful. Items, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm good. I have 30 mushrooms. And you can also buy equipment.